perhaps the most feared aspect of dealing with stakeholders is handling resistance. Yet we know that resistance is a natural way that people respond to all sorts of changes. So the most important thing we can do is to understand the different sorts of resistance that we'll encounter and have strategies for handling each. And for this, I like to use the onion model. The onion model shows resistance as a series of different layers. And what we find is that we, as we unpeel each layer, we find underneath it another layer. And often that new layer is hotter than the first. The first layer we encounter is resistance of this kind. I don't understand why we need to change. And of course you don't. Because unless you've seen those compelling drivers for change for yourself, it's natural to resist. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And that's a perfectly reasonable approach. So our first job as engagers of stakeholders is to explain why change is necessary, to show that things are broke. And then, of course, we, res we uh, encounter the next level of resistance. OK, I understand w that we need to change, but I don't understand why this change. I don't understand why you've chosen to do things this way. And, of course, this could simply be a lack of understanding, a lack of ability to interpret the messages you've been given. You need to be more patient in explaining yourself. But perhaps the resistor does understand what you're saying. It's just that they understand it in a different way to the way that you intended it. What's most important here is extremely careful listening to unpick the differences in interpretation. And once they understand why you've chosen this change, the next layer is perhaps the most important. Not the most difficult, but the most important, because this is where people say, OK, I get it, but I don't like this change. And of course, in large, complex organisations, changes don't benefit everybody, and it's quite reasonable for somebody to say, I don't like this change, it's not for me. Well, in this case, you have to do all that you can to mitigate the effects. But being careful as uh, someone who is a professional in engaging with stakeholders, not to lie, not to say, don't worry, it'll be fine. If you know that I am going to be worse off as a result of changes, treat me with respect and look me in the eye and tell me that I'm going to be worse off and then do what you can to help me. But be aware there is a second, more subtle reason why people say, I don't like this change. And it has nothing to do with the way the change affects them. It has everything to do with the way that they perceive the change will affect the organisation or other stakeholders. They care about the organisation and they care about other stakeholders and they think you're about to make a mistake. Once again, stakeholder engagement is about listening listen to their concerns and take them on board. If there is merit in their concerns, then do something about it. Then we get to another, even tougher level of resistance. OK, it's not this change, it's change. I don't like change is the fourth layer of resistance. And of course, none of us like change. But equally, we all spend our whole lives going through change. It's just that we're at different ends of the spectrum. Some people like masses of change, but even for them, there is a limit. And beyond that limit, they feel uncertain, they lack confidence, they fear the implications of change. You need to work with them to show them how to adapt themselves to change, to give them the confidence. The next level. It's even more difficult. This is where people will look you in the eye, or quite often don't, and they say, I don't like you. Because we all know that when change comes, people resist. And if I want an opportunity to make a nuisance of myself, then what better time than at times of change to take it out on the people I distrust, the people I dislike. But of course, this isn't really a response to change. It's just an opportunistic chance to make mischief. 
So you need to deal with it appropriately if you're confident that this is the, what the resistance is all about. And finally, it's worth acknowledging that there are some people, rare in good, well-run organisations, but there are some people who just like to resist. Hopefully, you won't have many of these. Hopefully, you will have avoided recruiting them. And if you have made that mistake, you'll have dealt with them. But if you do encounter this, then it's time to deal with that in a confident, assertive manner. So six different layers of resistance that we can encounter when dealing with stakeholders. Each one has its own characteristics, its own causes, and therefore its own responses. Handling resistance effectively is one of the most powerful, most useful skills for a stakeholder engagement manager. Stakeholder engagement is about handling resistance and dealing with people in a respectful manner. Listen, understand and respond appropriately.